we are looking to uh, broaden our feedstock base as much as possible with, with the feedstock that we are using nowadays. This means, uh, for example, pushing the borders to, towards using lower quality waste and residue type of feedstock. And then on the other hand, we have the long-term objective, which is more looking into uh, feedstock uh, coming from the lignocellulosic-based biomass materials. In the current production, uh, we use, uh, for example, uh, animal fats. We use uh, different type of fatty acid distillates from uh, side streams uh, from vegetable oil industry. And then uh, we have also used um, feedstock like fish fat residues of waste fish fat. And uh, one of our newest feedstock that we are using is technical corn oil, which is a side or residue from ethanol production. I mean, we are looking at agricultural residues like straw, uh, straw-based materials, uh, and uh, we are also looking into all type of lignocellulosic feedstock. Basically, we are interested. Uh, I mean, this uh, feedstock is containing uh, hemicellulose, cellulose, and, and lignin, and we are uh, interested to convert these as much into fuels as we can. We invest annually 40 million euros into research, which is a lot for a national oil company of this size. And uh, of course, it's uh, part of our strategy. We need the research to, to be successful in the renewable diesel advanced biofuel sector. And uh, therefore, we are putting a lot of uh, effort into this. I mean, the majority of our research focus goes into uh, advanced biofuels. Uh, I would say close to 80% of our research budget is related to that. Now we have been able to extend our feedstock portfolio to many other type of feedstock, mainly waste and residue type feedstock, so that this year already we are using more than 50% of our feedstock is waste and residue based, which means more than 1 million ton of waste and residues. Thank you.